Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Chris Gamer 1025, and we are back with Pure Wrestling. A great show lined up for you all here tonight. I can't wait for everyone here in attendance and everyone watching at home to get ready for a jam-packed show live here in Huntington, West Virginia. A quite important show here for Pure Wrestling. As we're going to run down through the card here, Amelia McKenzie has requested a rematch against Eva Valkyrie here tonight. Will she win this time? Who knows? Next, Mustafa Ali versus Sheamus. And then, Io Shirai taking on Becky Lynch. And then the next bracket here in the Brody Lee Tag Team Classic for the Pure Wrestling side, Oni Larkin and Danny Burch are back. A former APDB Tag Team taking on Alpha Academy. That one should be good, but your main event will be Bobby Lashley versus Brian Danielson. Should be a clash of styles there to end the show. But first, let's go right into the first match. And we're here live, ladies and gentlemen, as we will have this match right here, right now. Amelia McKenzie has requested a rematch against none other than Aoife Valkyrie. Amelia McKenzie said that she's not going to stop until she gets her hands on Eva Valkyrie. And well, let's see how that's going to go because we know when these two met last time, the end result was Eva Valkyrie picking up the victory. Well, requesting this match. Might have been a big mistake, but who knows? Because Aoife Valkyrie is coming out right here, right now, making her way down. And I've got to say, I mean, Aoife Valkyrie has just been looking impressive thus far. I mean, it, just having a good amount of matches and just taking care of all their opponents that have stood in her way. I mean, I've got, we've got to see how uh, this is going to, will Valkyrie indeed pick up another win here tonight in her column? We know that she, there's many, many, many opponents that she would love to face. And well, Aoife Valkyrie, oh, I'm sorry, Eva, Amelia McKenzie is just one of them. Look out. Oh, what a takedown there. And a kick right to the face. As there's Amelia McKenzie trying to get the jump right on Valkyrie here tonight. Hold on. Wait. Irish rip right to the corner. Goes Eva Valkyrie. And now Tree of Woe position. This is not good. Tree of Woe position getting choked out right there in the corner but oh what whoa what is this looks like a little bit of a figure four right there by Amelia McKenzie and oh my goodness kicking down Aoife Valkyrie continuously here tonight and oh there's a huge fist drop right there and throwing her right to the corner Looking to get picked up here tonight. Look out, big kick. I mean, big punch, I should say. Oh, there's a kick. I was right in that regard. Uh oh, whoop. Try to. Oh, wait, she's going to utilize the turnbuckle. Oh, beautiful maneuver there. And, oh, what a huge power bomb into a huge running knee. And now just wrenching right there. Just. Having that submission hold locked in. And picking her up. Amelia McKenzie. Nope. Getting her leg right down. Big punch right to the face. Kick to the midsection. Hold on. And. Oh. Tremendous brain buster. I thought it was going to be a simple suplex. Oh, oh my. Not even a one count. And Amelia McKenzie already kicking out. Look out. Oh. 
Huge slam right there, and now heading up to the middle rope, bringing her right down. And uh, gotta say, man, I mean, Eva Valkyrie looking a little bit different, a little bit of a modified attire here tonight. But nonetheless, I mean, her attributes are definitely the same. A highly skilled competitor. Oh, my. Look out. Huge knee to the face. Trying to finish off Amelia McKenzie early here tonight. Looking to go for a submission hold to take her out. Now just going for the submission. No, look. Amelia McKenzie gets out of it. There's a kick to the midsection. Oh, goodness. Tremendous takedown there, Amelia McKenzie. Oh, middle rope cross body. Very smart. And now a huge fist drop right down to the face. And oh, the suplex. Oh, she's got her with that one. Very good suplex position. And dropping the elbow right down to the face. And raining down the fist again. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Amelia McKenzie, I mean, after a huge attack by Aoife Valkyrie, she definitely wants to make a big comeback and take her out. You know how long Amelia McKenzie's been waiting for this moment? Ever since she's been taken out? Well, it's all good. I mean, thanks, you know, to our doctors here. Amelia McKenzie's all healed up. But will she be all right after this match? Who knows? Just stomping at the hand, stamp, stomping on the fingers. And now choking her out right there. Just choking her out right there. And oh, she gets out of it. Big, oh, no. Oh, Cora with that spinning heel kick. She caught her with that. Amelia McKenzie was not expecting that. Hell, I wasn't either. And two and a half. She went from kicking out before one to actually getting, kicking out at like 2.9. The game has changed. And oh boy, here we go. Valkyrie. Oh, what? Oh my God. Amelia McKenzie with the power bomb. Oh, what a kick out. I can't believe it. What a counter. What a counter. I mean, look, he got up on time. Look out. Wait. She gets dropped by Valkyrie. I can't believe that. Oh, my. Look at this deadlift there. Tremendous power bomb. And this match still goes on. Oh, my. And again, this time into a knee strike. What a match this has been thus far. Look out. And, oh, using the ropes to her advantage. Stunning her opponent. Look at that, taking out the legs. Non-stop. And she's going to go again, this time to the ankle. And, oh, she's going to target it again. Oh, Millie McKenzie trying to get out of the, the way. Getting out of harm's way. Kick right to the back. Gonna pick her up. Going for a chop. No. Look at this. Still countering as much as she can. As she heads up to the top, look out, Amelia McKenzie. Double foot stomp. Tremendous double foot stomp from the top rope. And, oh no. I was about to say, and that's it, but no. The match is not over yet. Amelia McKenzie still staying in it. Uh oh, wait a minute. Look out, don't turn around. Here it comes. Oh, oh my God. Aoife Valkyrie just countering out with a big running knee lift. And now, heads up to the top. Here it comes. Aoife Valkyrie. Oh man, she's pointing at it. It's over from here. Here she. Oh man. She's got her down. Ladies and gentlemen, that might be over right there. And it is Aoife Valkyrie again with another win. And Aoife Valkyrie looking 
Pretty excited here. My question to you all is, who's next in her path? I mean, she's been undefeated thus far. Oh, look, there's General Manager Kurt Angle going back up to his office. Tegan? Tegan, what are you doing here? You look pale. Are, are you okay? Tegan, this, you do realize this sounds absurd. I mean, look, first off, there's no physical therapist or doctor named Susan, all right? And there is nobody hired with the name of Susie in the pure wrestling roster. Do we need to hire a, a, a therapist? Like, I, I would definitely get you, give you the help you need. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say anymore, Tegan. Oh, just like that, Tegan is running out of here. What the hell? Tegan, wait, come on. I accept the help that you need. Oh, God. All right. And we're into the next match here of the night. Please welcome Mustafa Ali as he tries to take on Sheamus. Mustafa Ali here tonight going to take on Sheamus. I mean... Ali and Sheamus both haven't won a matchup here in Pure Wrestling, and that's uh, hard to believe, but hey, these two are facing each other tonight. Someone is finally going to get a victory. Someone's finally going to get a W here. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, Sheamus will be in action, and we're going to actually see if Ali could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Like I said, these two haven't had a win here in Pure Wrestling. It is going to be quite the matchup here and quite the clash of styles as Ali's more of a high flyer and Sheamus is more of a, a brawler. We're going to see exactly what this man is made out of here tonight. Let's not knock Mustafa Ali, former USA champion right here. As here comes Sheamus. Sheamus here tonight. I mean, trying to, as we saw backstage, I mean, he was trying to recruit Pete Dunn for the Brody Lee Tag Team Classic since he feels like Mustache Mountain is broken up. He wants to try to see. He's been eyeing Pete Dunn to be in a tag team. What a brutal tag team that would be if Pete Dunn and Sheamus would be together. I think that'd be quite the mix-up, and I think that'd be quite the tag team. Let's see if maybe Pete Dunne might change his mind after watching this match. Who knows? All I know is that Braun, I mean, bro, whoa. What the, shame is, whoa, how did he come to my head? I have no idea. Ignore me, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see how Sheamus is going to fare here tonight. As he's been up against, oh, former pure wrestling champion Samoa Joe. He's been up against Kazuchika Okada. So, so far, Sheamus, I mean, having a plethora of opponents here in pure wrestling. And Ali, look out. Oh, big right hand. And oh, my God, starting off early with the Poison Rana. You got to be kidding me. This is going to show, this is going to prove exactly how much Ali wants it here in Pure Wrestling. Look out. Um, again to Sheamus. Man, Ali looking really good here right now. Oh, my goodness. In this contest. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Huge slam. And you could see that Sheamus has had enough. Oh, tremendous power bomb! And oh my, look at this! Humongous DDT! Huge DDT there. And Ali looking to go for a swinging neck breaker. He's trying to take down Sheamus. 
We're going up to the top. What's going to happen here? Look out. Double. Oh, I thought it was a double foot stop, but it was actually a leg drop coming from Ali. One, two, and oh. Kick out there. Sheamus getting up fairly quickly, catching him, and a huge knee right to the back. That tilt world backbreaker there. Just really taking him out. Cover. No, only a one count. And it uh, looks like I'm gonna sit out power bomb. Something a little different here. A huge sit out power bomb. Looks he's gonna try to go for it again. There it is. The cover. One. Two, no, only a one count. Only a one count right there. And now Sheamus heading up to the top from the top rope. Oh, he tried to go for a dive. I think he was too far, and he tried to make it. He couldn't quite get it, but hey, you have to admire the heart that he has to go through with it. Look out. Oh, the hand behind the back. Power slam there by Sheamus as he sweeps the leg. Ali sweeps the leg and a huge senton there. And look out. Kick to the midsection. DDT. Sheamus. Look out. Oh. Knee right to the back. As Ali survives that, but still feeling the pain. Oh, huge flying Hurricane Rana there. Look at Ali. He's going up to the top rope. Sheamus is on one knee. He's getting up. Look out. Double axe handle. Really smart takedown there by Mustafa Ali. And whoa, we'll turning things around. Brings him down right there. As Ali's going to pick him up. Sheamus, he's on his feet. Will that be enough, though? Look at this, Sheamus. Outsmarting, outpowering Mustafa Ali. He has him on the shoulders. And throws him right on the top turnbuckle. Usually them, those stomps in the corner will do it. Look out. He's got him up and powers him down. Sheamus going to bring him in. Look out, what are we going to see? Oh, high cross. That Celtic cross by, oh my goodness, by Sheamus. One, two, oh man. As he just notices, Ali has his hand on the bottom rope. And that hand on the bottom rope. Sheamus, pro kick. Ali counters. Ali, Russian leg sweep. Mustafa Ali swiftly moving out of the way, and that's what I'm talking about, the clash of styles. You could obviously see that Ali is more agile than Sheamus. This high flyer knows how to get it done. Oh, 5 4 by Mustafa Ali. Is he going to get the victory? Two, three. Oh, man. 2.9. Two point nine by Mustafa Ali. Is he gonna try to? This time, it's the four fifty splash. Four fifty. Oh my God! Again? He's going on top again. Oh five four again. Shame. There's no way Shame is gonna kick out again. No way. What? Mustafa Ali does not know what to do. He looks shocked right now as Sheamus. He is up on his feet. Sheamus up on his feet. And Ali cannot believe it. As you can see, these two, oh my, has him and brings him on the knee right there. Oh my God, he's going to do it again. Sheamus still with the strength to lift up Ali. And now look at this. Heading up to the top turnbuckle. Sheamus, oh, this time. Ali moves out of the way. Hits a senton. These two men still going out of here tonight. The cover. Will he get the three count this time? No. And Ali thought it was a three count. It is not happening right now. He's going to have to do more damage if he wants to put Sheamus away here in tonight's contest. Look out. Drop kick right to the back. Kick right to the face. And now 
Still going at it here tonight, right on the arm. He goes. Like, I don't know. He's going to. No. She tried to pick him up, but didn't quite get it there. Ollie runs to the top rope. This time he's standing up there waiting for Sheamus to get up. Sheamus is up. Oh, high cross body. You can see that he missed it. Sheamus moved out of the way just slightly there. Even if it looked like he was unconscious, he was still conscious of what he was doing there. Oh, whoa. Knocking him down. Snapmare drop kick to the back of the head. And Ali, like I said, trying to figure plans out here that springboard bulldog. Very innovative from Ali. Uh oh, whoa, whoa. He saw Sheamus running to him. Smart man taking out the legs. Very smart taking out the legs of Sheamus right there here tonight. Now is in a camel clutch position. Well, Sheamus breaking the grip of Ali. And just, oh, using his feet and he's old. Oh, but what is Ali doing? Oh, oh my God, he caught him. He caught him with the bro kick. Oh my God. What a swift kick right to the chin to knock him out. I can't believe it, Sheamus saw it coming. My, what a counter, what a bro kick, and what a match from this man here. Yet again, back for some more women's action here live in Pure Wrestling. As here comes Io Shirai here tonight. Io Shirai coming out here. As we know, these two women in the past have challenged for the Women's Wrestling Championship and has been unsuccessful on the chase. But you know what, Io Shirai, she knows exactly how it is to be at the top. You know, Becky Lynch, she definitely knows what it's like to be a woman's champion. We talk about accolades, talk about the in-ring work. I mean, these two women have it all. What will we see from them two here tonight? We just have to see and find out. As here comes... Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch out here tonight, and definitely her presence here in Pure Wrestling is a huge one. Becky Lynch, you know, being drafted early on in the early days, in the start of the season, tonight, and without a doubt, every match that she's in, she's looking to show everyone why she belongs here and why, even though she was gone from Pure Wrestling for so long, she's still the top face of the brand. And well, here we go, matchup between these two women here tonight. We saw Becky Lynch in action against Kyrie. And it seems like Becky's turned the page here. Becky Lynch, she offered her hand out to Kyrie and offered re to show respect in the middle of the ring. That's nothing from what we've seen from Becky before. Look out. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Hurricane Rana counter there from that tremendous double arm suplex. And it looks like Becky Lynch... She's still going to go for her moves here, but look out. Io Shirai brought her down. Wait. Oh, double foot stomp right to the midsection. And throws her right down. Look out. Has her in that crucifix counter. Going to pick her up, but look out. Oh, elbow right to the midsection. Io Shirai bringing her down off the ropes. Drop kick right to the face. 
And stomping right at the arm here. And look, going to go for a huge knee to the face. Tremendous knee to the face and still continuing, especially going at that arm right here tonight. Look out. Whoa, turning the tide here. We're going to have her in that submission hold. Look out. Becky gets out of it. Cover. No. Oh, almost went for that kick to the leg. These two women counter after counter. Trying to outsmart each other here tonight. Kick to that leg right there. And again, continuing to go at it. But Becky Lynch. Look out. T-bone suplex right there from Becky Lynch. And stomping right at the arm there. Kick right to the face. Io Shirai. Whoa, springing up to the top. Look out. Oh, what a diving elbow drop right there. That diving elbow drop, and now that counter, Becky Lynch. Oh, wait, no, she gets thrown right in the corner. These women still going at it. Like I said, we have the Brody Lee Tag Team Classic still to continue to take place. Target the arm here, but picking her up nonetheless. And oh my, throwing her right there on the floor. Let's see, count of five as Becky Lynch throws Io Shirai back into the ring. And now that, that's what you need to do, throw him back inside the ring. Oh my, look out. Going to target the arm again. Going for that arm right there. And Becky now going to go submission hold Io Shirai. Trying to, oh, Io Shirai getting out of it. Making sure she gets out of Harb's way. And oh my goodness, huge Hurricane Rana. And Io Shirai, that knee right to the face. Continuing to, whoa, oh. That double knees right to the midsection cover. One, two, and a kick out there by Becky Lynch. He got the aerial Shirai heading up to the top. Not looking to stop anytime soon. Oh, Becky Lynch moves out of the way. She moves out of the way, out of the elbow drop. Becky Lynch, look at this. Oh, whoa. Countering the manhandle slam into a straight jacket German suplex. Two, and a kick out by Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch with that amazing kick out, and now... Looking to trap the arms again. Look at that. She went for a berry tail ending. I mean, that's something I haven't seen from Io Shirai. Oh, Moon Salt. Moon Salt there by Io Shirai. Two. And oh, Becky Lynch kicking out of that huge Moon Salt. And I don't know how she's still having this energy to kick out here tonight. I'll tell you what, Io Shirai better. Be ready. Maybe going for it again. Wait, wait. Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch turning things around. What does she got up? What does she have in mind here? What's going on? Becky Lynch. Oh, she's. Oh, no. The, the top uh, top rope maneuver here. Oh, my. Bexploder from the top rope. Huge Bexploder from the top rope. And Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. And, oh, Becky Lynch kicked to the midsection. Wait a minute, manhandle slam, manhandle slam by Becky Lynch after that top rope exploder and she wins the matchup here tonight. What a win. And look, Becky Lynch just extending her hand to Io Shirai, I mean, out of respect. Oh, wait, wait what? Io Shirai, what? Oh, Io Shirai, she, she just knocked out Becky Lynch. Why? Io Shirai, why? What the hell? Come on. Continually attacking Becky Lynch. Why? What's going? What's gone into her? Oh my god. Oh, the kick right to the top of the head. That's swinging out. Il Shirai's just irate right now. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my god. What a moonsault. Il Shirai with the moonsault. And whoa, what's going on? I, I don't even know what to say, what to think. But Il Shirai has snapped and has just put down. Here tonight, uh, this is, I don't even know, man. Io Shirai, she just 
turned on Becky Lynch here tonight and quite importantly just turned on the fans. And we're continuing with the tournament here tonight as look who we have here. Another former APW tag team as well. Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch are here in the building, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. They have entered the Birdie Lee Tag Team Classic, and tonight they'll go up against Alpha Academy. Will Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch be successful in their tag team matchup here tonight? The first ever match here in Pure Wrestling. We'll just have to see. Cheers. Cheers, please. As look who it is, man. These two men right here. Alpha Academy. Shooshing everybody in this place. As you can see, Chad Cable and Otis. They've been waiting for an opportunity like this. I mean, they've faced the Briscoes twice for those titles, one in a non-title match, and once for those titles, I should say. Let me correct myself. They would love none other than another shot at the Federation Tag Team Championships. And without a shot of a doubt, Chad Gable and Otis, they are ready. Let's see who has what it takes to continue on. In this match, as Chad Gable will start the matchup off first against Oni Lorcan here. Hold on! Oh my goodness! What a huge slam there is! Oni Lorcan is not going to take that. Oni Lorcan, Danny Birch, two tough men in this contest here. Oh man! What a huge back suplex there by. Gable and Gable now has him on the ropes. What's he have in mind here? Oh, stun gun using the apron to his advantage. Very smart right there is Chad Gable as he continues. What is this? Oh, whoa. Looks like a submission hold. Very creative there. And look at Danny Birch already breaking things up. Is it a little too early to start that fiasco here? Who knows? Look out. Whoa. Throws him to the outside. Oh. Only Lorcan dodging that elbow drop. And now. He's got a suplex coming his way. Wait. Hold on. He catches him there. Is Only Lorcan already. That took a lot out of him right there. You can see it. This matchup is just starting here tonight. He better be ready to endure whatever's going to come to him. Well, picking the ankle there. Gable with a smart move, a smart takedown. Tag there right to Otis. Otis now involved in this match. As the big man right here knows how to level his opponents. And a jawbreaker there by Oni Lorcan. Whoa, whoa. Couldn't even touch the big man. Whoa, what a huge overhand right. Didn't connect. But that punch to the midsection does. Off the ropes. Oh, he missed it. He missed the shoulder press right there. Or should I say the shoulder tackle? Oh, my. Spinning him around. Look at, oh, my goodness. Look how many rotations as he takes down Oni Lorcan. And tag made back to Gable. And look at this. Danny Birch is now the legal man of this match. We'll see what he has to do here tonight. Oh, got him there. Whoa, whoa, no. Gable. Gable gets reversed into a cover. No. Kick out there at one. Kick out there at one. And now, oh, my. Using these high kicks. Northern Light suplex. Let's see if Alpha Academy will advance here. I mean, they're facing a very... Unique team and a different team that they've never faced before. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Tramp in the arm submission hold right there! Is he? Oh! Gable! He played him like a fiddle! He got out of it! You saw that he got out of it fairly quickly, and that's a very smart tactic. 
Gable pretending to panic and reversing it. Look out. Oh, oh, he goes outside the ring. Outside the ring. As Danny Burch is going to get back in here. It looked like uh, Gable needed a little bit of a breather there. Very smart tactic. Look out. Oh, using that huge deck breaker to take him down. Only Lorcan gets tagged in. Lorcan now, what has he got in mind? Oh, no. Elbow shots right to the midsection. And, oh, going to pick the ankle again. And dropping him down. Very smart now. Here's Otis. Is now the legal man as well. He gets tagged in. And, oh, gets shoved, shoves him off. Oh, what a huge elbow shot there by Oni Lorcan. And a DDT that drops down Otis. Otis gets dropped down. And now, oh, look at this. Up to the middle rope. Elbow drop. Oh, big miss. What a big miss as he holds his elbow. He's got a hurt elbow there from getting dropped. Look out. Oh, Gable just landing on the back of his neck right there. Not a safe landing for Chad Gable. And Gable now holding the knee there. As he's getting up, but only... Oh, wait, Danny Birch going for a submission hold yet again. And look at Otis, quick to make him get out of it. Oh, kick to the face to Otis. Otis isn't the legal man right now. It's Gable, but Gable's down. As he's wrenching, picking that part, that ankle, the foot of Otis. And look at Gable. Gable's finally up. Look out. Oh, ref. Oh, referee was in the way there. But still gets a suplex against Gable. And now Otis catches a forearm and a headbutt. Otis still standing. It's hard to move Otis. Man, that guy's a, a big guy. Let me tell you, he's a big man. Oh, look at Gable rolling through again with that smart takedown. Let me tell you, man, that wrestling background of Gable comes in very handy. When he's facing any opponent he's in the ring with. Oh, Irish whip to Otis in the corner. Oh, my. Oh, my God. What the hell is this? Look at that. Oh, Otis. Reversing. Otis with a thunderous clothesline. Otis got out of it. But oh, uh, he didn't even get a one count. Man, he quickly got out of it there. He wanted to get out of harm's way. Oh, headbutt to the chest. But still, Otis stands. Oh, tremendous chop. I can hear that from here. The cover. Otis, is it over for him? He kicks out. He continues to be in this matchup, to be in this tournament. And, oh, whoa, whoa, there's a counter there. Tremendous counter. Oh my, what a slam right down onto the canvas. Almost like a spine buster that took down Danny Birch there. And throwing him right, his head right down onto the floor and on the canvas as the punishment continues. We could see, yes, he's ready, willing, and Gable here tonight. Oh, leg sweep. Danny Birch has him, turns him around. German suplex. It looks like the teams are quite even here as I think this is the most competition that both teams have had thus far. That's, uh, I'm saying that without a shadow of a doubt, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, needed right to the midsection. And now, butterfly suplex coming from Gable with the pin predicament, but oh, a rope break. A rope break messes everything up. Otis now. He's in the ring. He picks him up for one of the strongest slams I've ever seen. I think his foot is under the bottom rope, and it is. Otis didn't notice. But he has to change the pace. He has to do something to stand out right now, but gets countered. Only Lorcan getting out of that 
grapple that hold. Uh oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, his face planted right in the second turnbuckle. Tag made. Danny Burch is now the legal man going for the cover. And will that be it? No. Chad Gable makes sure that the match could matchup continues he really wants this title shot and I don't blame him oh he gets thrown outside the ring uh oh oh there's Otis continually here tonight look out gets thrown in the corner Otis uh oh oh my it's a bad spot here for Danny Birch look out oh as he brought all his weight right down on Danny Birch is the big man right here, Otis. Only a two count. Only a two count for Alpha Academy. As, well, what's he going to do with, what the hell? Oh, my. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, there goes Oni Larkin. And Danny Birch getting up, but Chad Gable's tagged in. Gable now the legal man. As... He, only Orkin was dumped outside the ring. As, uh oh, wait a minute. Only Orkin got up quickly. Oh boy, look at this. Look at the teamwork here. Oh, that assisted shoulder tackle. And now Only Orkin somehow, some way, back in it. This man's a psycho. He's charging in the corner. Oh, Gable with the counter. Gable out of nowhere. Gable out of nowhere puts him in the corner. Look at it, turn things around. We've seen this before. This is how he won the Federation Tag Team titles in the past. German suplex. Hulk on a roll, too. Oh, man. Only a two count as he throws Danny Birch outside the ring. Tag mate to Otis. Otis, he's going to finish things off here tonight. He has to. For his team. Look at that discus clothesline. No. Only Lorcan getting out of it. Has him strung up on the apron. What the hell is this? Well, clothesline ducks under. Off the ropes. And a thunderous clothesline turning Otis inside out. Didn't even know Otis could flip like that. My God. A DDT there. Right to Otis. And now. There it is. Big strikes. Big right hands, big left hands. And ooh, off the ropes. Oh my goodness, what a neck breaker. That spinning neck breaker. Otis crawling for a, a tag, and there he gets it. Chad Gable running across the ring. Hopping all rings and all bounds here tonight. Big forearm strike. Look at this. Gable putting Danny Birch in the corner. And I think I know what he's going for. Green might think alike here because he's going for the O'Connell roll. German suplex. Bang right there. As a down goes, Danny Birch tag made right to Otis. Otis with the tag made. Goes after Oni Lorkin. Spears him in the corner. Oni Lorkin. He's been tired this whole match already. I don't know if he's going to have a chance to get up. But here comes a tag right here. What are we going to see? What are we going to see? Wait. Wait, what? Oh! Grand Amplitude! Grand Amplitude! One, two, three! Alpha Academy wins with the Grand Amplitude! And there you go, they advance in the Brody Lee Tag Team Classic. Only working too slow to get in the ring. Wait, what the hell? What? What is this? Is that. It is! It's Tucker! One half of Heavy Machinery! He even won the Tag Team Titles! The Federation Tag Titles with the Otis! What is Tucker doing here? What is going on? Is he back? Is he getting in the ring here? What, what's going on? Otis, my friend, you look incredible! Hey, listen. I just want to come out here. Wish both you luck in the Brody Lee Tag Team Classic. Ever since I hung up my boots, I know it hasn't been the same between us, but we still have that mutual friendship. Hey, I can't, I can't come and uh, surprise an old friend. And Gable, hey, listen, I got a surprise for you too, ladies and gentlemen. A man who's also hung up the boots, a man 
that was once called the next generation of greatness may i present to you jason jordan is it really no it can't be no what jason jordan jason jordan is here he's here i can't what this man once known as the next generation of greatness has just graced us with his presence here live in pure wrestling and it's been years since we've seen him this has got to be an emotional reunion as both men are in tears right now here tonight gable gable man i've missed you i know things didn't pan out the way it was supposed to and i know my early retirement it kind of stumped everybody and it, it kind of took people off guard and some people didn't even know about it but i just wanted to come out here and say good luck i was called the next generation of greatness but i think i think that that nickname should go to you each and every brand has been nice to us and have been amazing and i just want to say thank you now let the celebration continue because alpha academy have just advanced Look at this good old-fashioned celebration here. And look at these two celebrating like they've never left. My God, I miss this team. I miss heavy machinery as well, man. But you know, sometimes unfortunate injuries occur. They are elated to be here. And now, the beginning of our main event. This will be a matchup. That is quite different right here. Bobby Lashley representing the Hurt Business will take on Brian Danielson. The Hurt Business still going strong. MVP has vowed and he has claimed that we will see a new version of the Hurt Business. So Bobby Lashley here representing them here tonight. Sheldon Benjamin and Cedric Alexander not here in the corner, but I'm assuming they're somewhere backstage. They have to be like always. But, I mean, we shall see what does MVP mean by a new Hurt Business is the question. I'm assuming he means something bigger and better than what we're seeing right now. I mean, hopefully Bobby Lashley is ready for someone like Brian Danielson. Someone who he's not met before in the ring. And here he is right here. Brian Danielson obviously coming off of a loss from trying to defeat Jordan Devlin for the nation's championship at Backlash. Brian Danielson would like nothing else but a win here. And will we see that happen? Brian Danielson, I mean, this so far, I think it has been his toughest season thus far. We shall see exactly how Brian Danielson will use his offense against Bobby Lashley. As here we go, the matchup is now underway. Oh, there's some elbow shots right to the face. And now just picking him up and just tossing him right across. My God, I mean... It's just absolutely incredible. Look at this. Again, just throwing him. Throwing him like crazy here. Look at... Oh! Already what a huge takedown there. And Brian Danielson already just making moves here. Look at these kicks coming from Danielson. Oh, dropped him down with a DDT. Kick right to the face. And oh my goodness... Look at the strength of Lashley. 
He goes to the face from Danielson. Danielson turns him over, but a clothesline there. No, doesn't get him. Look out. He picks him up. Oh, my. Thrown to the outside goes Danielson. Thrown to the outside, and now look at Lashley. What the hell? There's no, there's no freaking way. No, oh, God. Double legs handle to the outside. That double axe handle to the outside coming from Lashley. I mean, that looked absolutely vicious. I mean, that looked scary. I mean, when have we ever seen Bobby Lashley dive to the outside from the ring? Like, whoa, what? And, oh, Daniel said putting Lashley back inside the ring, still recovering from getting thrown to the outside. Going back inside the ring, beating the count like always. Oh, punch right to the midsection. Lashley... Has an advantage as he, oh, Gorilla presses Danielson up and throws him down. Face first right on to the canvas. And oh, oh cross our bar. As he has it locked in, will Lashley stay with it on? No. There's Danielson getting out of it fairly quickly as he throws him right in the corner big chop as he got oh no he was trying to go for the leg of Lashley but Lashley blocked that one oh my god again has him up gorilla press slam this time what a huge power slam and oh my goodness look at again the strength of Lashley putting him down And Lashley kicked to the midsection. Has him up, powerbomb position. But look at this, Danielson getting out of it. Taking a few steps back and dropping him down that low drop kick. Lashley didn't see it coming, but he still kicks out at one. And there's a cross on bar there by Danielson this time. As Lashley is in trouble, but... He, try to make, he tries to make his way out of it, and he does. Hey, look at this. Wait, Lashley has him up. He's picked him up as he drops him right on the top turnbuckle. Oh, man. Right on the top turnbuckle, but there's a kick there by Danielson. Danielson getting that leg up on time. It's a drop toe hold again. Danielson... Has him at its pace where he wants him. Look out, turns him inside out. And Lashley stopping right at the arm. Lashley has him when he picks him up. Oh my goodness, we've seen this before. There's a huge takedown. Is Danielson done after that? No, he's not. As he kicks out. He's not done. And Danielson, oh my he might be after this, though. The Hurt Lock is coming. The Hurt Lock. Bobby Lashley. Wait, he changed his mind. I thought he was going to go for the Hurt Lock. It looked like Lashley was like, never mind. I'm going to go for something else. But Danielson, see, that's a second guessing that messes you up. Because Lashley gets taken down. He shouldn't have second guessed himself. He should have just went through with the Hurt Lock. Bang, right to the top of the head. And look, look, oh my God, Brian Danielson, look at this. The, he's twisting the whole leg and the knee of Bobby Lashley. Is Lashley going to tap? Is Lashley going to tap? He's in pain. Oh no, he doesn't tap. But the damage has already been done. The damage has already been done. Look out. Diving knee drop. That huge diving knee. Uh, Lashley... He, I don't know how is he going to hit the spear because it seems like that knee's already been worked on here in tonight's contest. That's a big obstacle to climb, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, LaBelle Lock in the center of the ring. LaBelle Lock. There's a second submission hold that Lashley's stuck in right now. It's either tap or you might just pass out. Lashley on. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's a reversal. Lashley kicked to the midsection. And he has a hold of Danielson. Oh, my goodness. Danielson just kicked him in the 
Lower abdomen, look out. Oh, a running drop kick right there. And still, again. Oh my, another one. Right to Lashley. And this time, Brian Danielson. He's looking to, he's looking to go for the running knee. Wait, MVP. Oh boy, MVP on the apron. As he's now distracting Daniel. Danielson has had enough. Oh my God. He's had enough. Oh no, oh my God. A huge spear catching Danielson from the distraction from MVP. Oh, come on. Come on, not like this. And MVP's cheering. A classic MVP distraction here leads the almighty Bobby Lashley getting the victory for the Hurt Business. And Lashley is loving the victory, man. I can't believe it. Come on, he, he wouldn't have won clean. Not over Danielson. There's no way. This guy cheated. Pure Wrestling still continues on strong here. Live tonight, and we are met with our brand new Pure Wrestling Champion. The man that cashed in at Against All Odds. As you can see, and Carrot Cross as he walks down the ramp, and there's Scarlet following behind Carry and Cross here tonight. They are no joke here in Pure Wrestling, and now that he's champion, he is the ruler here. I came to Pure Wrestling with one goal, and that was to be world champion, and I did that. And look at me now. Nobody will be able to stop me especially not Samoa Joe. This championship right here will be around my waist longer than it will be on Roman Reigns. I've waited long enough and my opportunity is finally here. So, I'm unforgiven when I have to defend this world championship. There will be no escape from me. The, oh, 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 wait a minute, guys. Samoa Joe is in the building. Joe's definitely gonna have a few words for Karrion Cross here tonight as he looks this man in the eyes. Cross, I know what the money in the bank briefcase means. You had me fighting three other men in this ring and then cash in on me. I think, I think that's a bitch move if you ask me. So you know what? The match we had it against all odds when you cashed in, that wasn't a real match. It wasn't a real match, so I'm throwing this proposition out. At Unforgiven, I want my rematch for that Pure Wrestling Championship. Well, listen, Joe, listen, just because I didn't cash in on you one-on-one -on -one doesn't mean that I could have not won this title. Whether you were in a triple threat match, one-on-one -on -one match, a death match, whatever match, the end result would always be the same. You would always lose to me. Let me tell you something, Scarlet. Oh, oh my God! Wait, Toll! No, come on. This is the punishment has got to be over. The punishment has got to be over. Come on, Carrion Cross with the cross check and submission hold. Come on, it's Joe was paying attention to Scarlet and gets a cheap shot with the title. And Karrion Cross now gonna be leaving here with his hand held high with the title. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the kind of champ we want. I don't think so. Karrion Cross making it certain that he's gonna walk out of Unforgiven. Still, your pure wrestling champion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this episode, please leave a like, share with your friends. And I'll see all of you for CJM.